why you so won't? So we gotta cut you off from some mess. Louisiana the Saints coming back at you with another quick riding talk. Probably gonna get started as I always do. I can give F59 as a prayer to Yahweh. By Shimmy, I was shy by Shimmy Katadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Ruth Millstone. Solid to the items that's pushing the truth and sincerity. Thought of winning this video be edifying first and foremost to move the elect. Then to those that plead to the body. That man, the fear of the unknown. Though yeah, we labor, we work for the Lord. Okay, we still don't know what tomorrow may hold. Okay, or what the Lord have in store for us, man. Hey. David, which was a man after the Most High heart, which the men of the Lord are men, you know, 144,000 are men after the Most High heart. David just was an example, okay, that the Lord actually, you know, uh, said that, you know, he was a he was a man after his heart because he also labeled Abraham as a friend. So that'll be a man after what? After his mind, man. You know, so 144 men after his mind, but. The fear of the unknown, you know. But though yet we feel, right? It's always the, you know, like, okay, now this is the spirit of the Passover, which we're in right now. And, you know, it's, it's actually on, you know, on tomorrow at the eve, or whatever. Not this eve coming in, but tomorrow eve, you know, on sundown, in which, you know, during a time in which the, uh, the Passover was happening in ancient Egypt. Okay, leading up to that uh that, that ultimate date, right? That was uh, a lot of you know those seven plagues of Egypt. Alright, it was a, a lot of even in those plagues people were already dying. And then you got the you know the the, the day in which you know the, the, the angel was gonna pass over and kill all the firstborn, right? You had to know that the Israelites in those times, they knew the Lord more than we know the Lord. Well, this generation knows the Lord, right? Because we are those people that was, you know, doing a uh, captivity in Egypt in which we had to experience the same, the same event, right? Or the same time. And tomorrow, which is a memorial of that, puts us back in, in, in remembrance that that was a dreadful day. Okay, and that, that the Lord is terrible. So the fear we have have to be a healthy fear, you know. But yeah, we have that perfect love. There's still a level of fear in which the Lord requires out of respect, man. Out of respect for the Passover, you know. We get ourselves together. We uh, you know, we get the leaven out of the house. You know, we act, we do the things that's required of us, man. At the end of the day. If the Lord required that you do it, because the Lord don't ask us to do nothing, man. He required that we do it. Okay, so it's a duty. More or less, and I'm asking y'all to do this. Like, nah, man. It's really a, a, a privilege for the Lord to even do that towards our nation and our people, man. So, yes, that fear gotta be intact. It gotta be in play, man. All right, this is Psalms. We gotta be able to fear just the fear of his name is moreover is greater than it all, man. This Deuteronomy 6 and 13, it says, Thou shalt fear Yahweh thy power and serve him and shall swear by his name. You see? So we uh, we uphold the name of the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh shine. In, in uh doing this heavenly uh this uh spiritual uh, custom man eh? you know what we're doing we're showing the lord that we fear his name now you don't do it uh just because it's a season of door but technically as i always say the passover actually judgment passes us daily man okay so we're in the chronicles of judgment pretty much man all the time Okay, the record of judgment has been since the time of the Passover up until now, man. It's daily, right? This is, uh... Trying to find it. Give me a second. Yeah, this Psalm 61 and 5, it says, For thou, O power, 
has heard my vows. Thou has given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. See, we're in the heritage of Jacob. I done a video the other day that, that let debt be not found in the heritage of Jacob, man. All right? Because we have, we have inherited the Lord's name, his law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, that are done. Now, there's nothing greater. All right? For fear, which is, um, let me get it. I'll come right back to that. This is Sirach. Come back. Let's grab a couple threes on the way to count. You know, one and 18. It said, The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish. Both which are the gifts of, of our power. See, the fear to fear the Lord, that's a gift of the Lord, man. I mean, let's just be honest, man. You know, every every man wasn't given that. Some men was given a, 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 a higher level of fear for the Lord. Okay? Which is the elect. They're going to fear the Lord above all Israel, man. You see? And in the kingdom, they're all going to fear him. But the, men, the 144 are going to be the men that fear and re revere his name. And the way they fear and revere his name is to do his signs, his commandments, man. What he required of us. It says, both which are the gifts of God, and it enlarged their it enlarged their rejoicing that love them, man. You see? So there's a high level in which we move and operate in the name of the Lord, man. Working, right? Being brotherly. Okay, all the things that the Lord looked down on us to have, man. Yeah, this Malachi 1 and 6, it says, His son honored his father, and the servant his master. If then I be a father, where is my honor? See, if, if the Lord is our honor, the way that we honor him by fear, okay, then it crowns, by, by us fearing the Lord, it crowns us with wisdom. Okay, it says, and if, and if I be a master, where is my fear? Said the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest, that despise my name and ye say wherein that we despise thy name see we don't despise the Lord's name is what you why I brought it out the priests of today the 144,000 they glory in the name of the Lord and they glorify the name they fear it they uplift it they believe in it they trust in it and ultimately, ultimately man is in our name okay whoa fire Huh. Oh, oh, let's go to Malachi. I get the 25. It says, My covenant was with, was with him of life and peace. And I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me and was afraid before my name. So, and that's why the covenant, you know, uh, part, of the, part of the covenant in which the Lord made uh, from Abraham, Isaac, to Jacob, and, and along with the 12 sons of Jacob, which makes up, you know, Israel. Part of that covenant was to fear his name, and that's why he gave us his name to fear it. Because it was a time where we didn't have his name. We had nothing to fear. All right. We had no laws to keep. We had nothing, man. But the law was gracious unto us, man. And so that that was a, a, a men that he could find faith in the earth. Because it's gonna be a hundred at least, the bare minimum is gonna be 144,000 men that has faith when Yahweh shall come back. He said, when he come back, shall he find faith in the earth? Yes. And those that believe on them, which that one third, but the governing body, to say the less, because the fate is about the 144. Yes, of course, he's enjoying where, uh, you know, that he saw the number that, you know, in Revelation, that he saw the number that no man can number, of course. Okay, but it starts with what? His priest, man. All right. Oh, this is Malachi. God get all of them. Malachi 3 and 16 is it then they that fear the Lord speak off the one to another and Yahweh hawk and they heard it in the book of remembrance were written before him for them that fear Yahweh and that thought upon his name and that's what we do man we think upon his name 
remember the, the, the Lord name is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and it's safe. Really the name of the Lord ran into us, man. You can't go get the name of the Lord, man. It's precious. All right? It's, a, it's precious. Okay? It's above diamonds, ruby, wisdom. So the name of the Lord met us, man. You see that? And that thought upon his name, that think every day about his name. Because when you think about the name of the Lord, you're going to think about his commandments. What he require. Now what you, and how great his name is. But you're going to find a way to what? Respect it. Malachi 4 and 2. It says, <clears throat> But you, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing and his wings. See, salvation going to come to us because we fear his name. We already know killing and death all right, going to be uh, uh, unprecedented. So, the only thing there's other left to get on the, on the opposite of dying and dying is living, man. It says, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. So, we going to get the, 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 the son of righteousness going to shine upon us, man. All right? And we going to be saved, man. All right, so... At the end of the day, man, we just want to continue to fear the Lord's name and continue to work in the Lord, man, that he may remember us, all right, and still allow judgment to pass over until the ultimate judgment come and where we, we can either uh, die in his name as a martyr, all right, or live unto those that did die and be saved. So I'll be right to Zada was that a fine man. Until next time, I'm going to see Shalom.